Hi, I'm Brian, and this is a quick demo of the basic features of Intwine Pattern Studio. We'll start by creating a new document, and as you can see, the first option is to set the chart title, and that allows you to distinguish between the different charts that you may have in your pattern. For example, if you had a sweater, uh, you might have a front, a back, and uh, sleeves, and you could put those titles into the into the chart title. We'll just start by putting in simple design and we'll go ahead and set the stitches to 12 and the rows to 10. The default stitch allows you to pick what stitch is going to fill the chart when you create it when you initially create it and you can select between uh, knit, purl, and no stitch and we're just going to stick with knit for now and create the document. As you can see the first thing you'll notice is the chart and then below that are the instructions and there are some options in the center right here to select uh, between knitting and the round which will update the chart with the um, numbering on the rows and also in the instructions it will update that as well. You can then go back to flat and you can select either right side or wrong side which will again start the chart um, as indicated on the wrong side rows and it will also update the instructions as well. For this example we're just going to stick with the the standard flat on the right side. And we're going to start by selecting a purl stitch and we will go ahead and um, as you can see we have the stitch library. We have over 70 stitches and over 40 cables. So you can select from any of those. But we're going to start with purl. So we'll go ahead and paint on a row of purls and start with a basic design and once we've done that, if we had a larger chart and we wanted to repeat a section of the chart, one thing that we could do is select a lasso and we can highlight a group of cells, a group of stitches, and we can copy it and then if you stick the highlight in the upper left hand corner of where you want to paste the cells, which will be this area here, you can go ahead and paste in those stitches and it will um, add them to the chart. And as I said, that's useful for larger charts where you can, um, where you may have sections that you need to repeat. We also may want to do colors in the background. If you're using different uh, colors or different skeins of yarn with different colors, we can come in here and select a color. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and choose green. And you can again paint behind the stitches just as you did uh, when you were adding the stitches themselves. And we can also choose colors in combination with stitches. So if we wanted to choose a different color we'll come in and select red and we'll select a stitch down here and we can add the stitch and the color at the same time. So now that we have the basic design done. You'll notice that the instructions are exactly as the chart is outlined up above. So, and the instructions will remain completely in sync with the chart, whatever you add to it. Once we have the basic design done, we can go over to the document. Now, the document itself is allows us to design the entire pattern, not just the charts. So we can put in text, and this is basically a word processor, and that allows you to utilize a lot of the basic features um, of a word processor. So once we have some text in there, we can go ahead and we can change the font and the font size we can make it bold and center it and we can change the color of the text and basically any of the basic features of a word processor. So once we have that we can go ahead and we can insert um, chart information from our design that we just made. So we can select between the chart, the written instructions, and the document key. And we'll start with the chart. And there's the chart. And then we can add the written instructions. 
and you'll notice that it includes the name of the chart that we just added and it tells you what to cast on and it'll uh, indicate the right side and wrong side rows and this is fully editable so that if you have any size information or um, anything else that needs to be indicated in the instructions you can go ahead and add that as well and it won't be updated when um, you modify the chart so we'll go ahead and add the key last and again this indicates the symbols as they appear on the chart the name of the symbol the abbreviation for the symbol which will appear in the instructions and if there's any information about um, how to uh, make the stitch that'll appear down here as well so now that we've done that let's go ahead and add some information like the gauge and we have some prepared text just be and paste that in and you can see you can put in as much as you want and you can format the text how you want we also allow you to add images to the document so if you have a web banner or if you have some icon or image that you use when you create your your uh, charts or your patterns you can go ahead and we you can add that image so we have a ban banner here and we'll add that and this also allows you to add any images of the final product that you may have taken and you can add as many images as you want so now that we've completed that we'll go ahead and save the document and we can go ahead and create a PDF and creating a PDF is useful if you want to send it to some friends or if you want to put it on a website where you can uh, give away the um, give away the pattern or sell the pattern um, they usually like to have it in a PDF format so we you can go ahead and just create that right from here and it'll open up the folder and you can see the pattern is right here and your pattern comes out just like you had it in in the application so that's the completed pattern there now let's go back and make a few changes to the original chart so I showed you earlier that the instructions stay up to date when you change the chart. Now we're going to do it the other way around and we're going to change the instructions and have it update the chart. So once I've updated the row, I changed it, it updates the chart as well. And we'll go ahead and change this row. And again, it updates the chart. over here you'll see there's a stitches used and a colors used and these indicate all the stitches and colors used throughout the entire pattern so if you have multiple charts all the stitches used in all of the charts will be indicated in these two um, in in this field and the colors throughout will be indicated here as well so we can go ahead and use the pearl from here and we can change this miscellaneous stitch here and you'll notice once they're all once all the miscellaneous stitches are gone it's removed from the stitches used we can also add extra colors and again if you use the color mode it just changes the color and it doesn't change the stitches that are on top of the color so let's go back to the document and you'll notice that the chart has already been updated and this chart this image of the chart will stay in sync with your design as you change it so that when you come back here it'll always be correct again the text if you wanted to update the text you would have to paste it in again and that allows you to um, add any additional information on sizing or anything that you need to add um, that isn't already accounted for without losing those changes and again the key is updated as well so those are the basic features of Intwine Studios, and I hope you enjoyed the demo and that you check out our other videos. Thank you for your time.